Hey guys, today I'm going to be adding a critical piece of hardware to my security camera setup. It's an uninterrupted power supply and it will keep your system powered up during an electrical failure. Let's look at one such unit and see how long it will power various security camera setups during an outage. So the purpose of an uninterrupted power supply, or UPS, is to keep electrical devices running in case of a power outage. They also work as a surge protector. I want a backup power supply unit to keep my security camera system running during a power outage so that nobody tries to use the power failure as an opportunity. I also don't want to lose access to my system remotely during the outage. So let's say you're using a PC or a Mac to record your security camera footage. You could take advantage of CyberPower's own software, which would gracefully shut down your machine if there's, let's say, five minutes of battery power remaining. Unfortunately, at this point, the UPS cannot tell a dedicated NVR or network video recorder to shut down properly, but we can still use the UPS to power all the components of the security camera system during an electrical interruption. But how long will the battery last? So this unit is model CP1500 AVR LCD, and it's made by CyberPower. It has a capacity of 1500 volt amps or 900 watts. They are available on Amazon for about $140 US and available in various sizes. I'll place the link in the description below and on my blog to where I got mine. The LCD panel here on the front shows the capacity, load and runtime information. On the back there are two sets of plugins. One set for surge protection and another set for surge protection and battery backup. Inside there are two sealed lead acid batteries and they normally last about three to five Five years depending on the number of uses and discharges. Since the batteries will uh, fully recharge as soon as the power is restored, they shouldn't be damaged by a full discharge. Also, the manufacturer may have added additional safety nets in place to keep the batteries from discharging past a certain point. You could use the included software to check on the battery health. Replacement cells are available, again, on Amazon. So there are formulas out there that you could use to help figure out the expected runtime of a UPS. I wonder if I could take those formulas, tweak them a little bit, and use my actual results to come up with a formula for figuring out how long the UPS will last given various security camera systems. We'll see. Anyways, in my testing, I'm going to try to cover as many security camera configuration scenarios as I can and see how long the backup power supply will last in each. I'll measure the wattage of each of the devices beforehand with a watt meter, and that will help me figure out the relationship between the power demands and the total battery time. So let's check out those wattages. First off, a standard security camera alone. It uses 3.2 watts of power, whether it's getting its power from a power adapter, a network video recorder, or a PoE switch. So next we have the network video recorder or NVR. When it's not supplying power to the cameras using the PoE ports on the back, it uses 18.4 watts. If I'm recording to the NVR over my LAN, it still uses the same amount of power. Now if I were to attach four cameras to the back of the NVR using those PoE ports, the total power usage will be 33.3 watts. This small PC, when I use it to record four cameras continuously, it only uses 28 watts of power. This larger PC, however, has an 800 watt power supply and a much better processor, more RAM, more hard drives, and consumes 117.3 watts of power. Next, we have a 23 inch monitor and it consumes 22.2 watts of power. My PoE switch here consumes 3 watts of power when there's no cameras plugged into the back. When there are 4 cameras plugged into the back and they're all receiving power from the PoE switch, it uses 16.1 watts. If I were to plug 10 cameras into this unit, it would consume 41.3 watts. My router here, it uses 4 watts of power and my modem, it uses 11.4 watts. So that's it. That's all the hardware that I have. Let's start the scenarios. So our first scenario is going to be quite simple. The LCD screen here cannot be turned off in battery mode. Let's see how long it lasts with nothing plugged into the back. The unit lasted 16 hours. Keeping things simple, let's hook up one camera to the UPS and have it continuously recording to an SD card. If the power is knocked out, your network will also be down so you won't be able to access it remotely, but it will keep recording. This camera uses 3.2 watts of power and it lasted 7.1 hours on one full UPS. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Seems like the LCD screen on the front consumes more power than the camera does. 
Next, we look at a more common scenario where we have a NVR with one hard drive recording four cameras continuously. All of the cameras are plugged into the back of the NVR, meaning that they are receiving power from this unit. Again, no other devices like monitors or switches or modems are going to be backed up. In this scenario, the NVR lasted 2.8 hours. That's much longer than I expected. Pretty awesome. So now, in this scenario, we have the same NVR, same cameras, but let's add a monitor into the mix. In this scenario, with the monitor and the NVR and the four cameras, the battery lasted 1.6 hours. So let's say you have the four cameras connected to the NVR, but they're LAN cameras, powered by a PoE switch, meaning they're not receiving power from the NVR. To make this a network, you're going to need a router backed up as well. So with the PoE switch, the NVR, and the router, of course, the four cameras connected to the PoE switch, the system lasted just over two and a half hours. Now taking that same scenario and adding a monitor in the mix that's always on, the system lasted 1.77 hours. So let's drop the monitor and include the modem so that we can access the NVR while we're out of town or at work during the outage. The NVR PoE switch with the four cameras, router and modem lasted just over two hours. Pretty impressive. So what if you're using a PC to record your footage instead of the dedicated NVR? Without using CyberPower software, let's see what the maximum time is that the UPS provides for this setup. I'm backing up the PC, PoE switch, four cameras attached to the router, and the unit lasted just over an hour and a half. Now as soon as I add a monitor back in, that shortens the battery runtime to just over an hour. So let's get rid of the monitor and add the modem back in so that we could access the recorded footage using a remote desktop or team viewer. In this scenario, the system lasted just over an hour and a half. So lastly, let's look at a more extreme setup. I have a powerful PC here acting as the NVR with Blue Iris installed. I have the router PoE switch with 10 cameras attached. That's a total of 222.6 watts and one full charge of the UPS lasted 33 minutes. Now all these results are available on my blog if you need some more time to review them. I did notice that the camera's IR lights consumed an additional 1 watt of power when they were turned on. Now if you want to know how long your security camera system is going to last with the UPS, I figured out a formula and I created a power usage calculator for backup power supplies on my blog based on my experiments here today. Simply punch in the number of devices you've required backed up and their actual wattage usage, if they are different than mine, which will be pre-populated in the individual wattage fields. In the summary, I'll show you how long various UPS models should last, given your scenario. It's an estimate, and the results may vary based on power fluctuations, the temperature, battery life, and so on. So all in all, I'm quite impressed with how long this UPS keeps my security camera system running during a power failure. The LCD screen on the front provides the information I need, such as the capacity, load, and estimated runtime. In any case, a backup power supply is an important part of any security camera system to keep it running during those power failures. Links to where I got mine are in the description below, and there's lots of information on my blog, so do check that out. I hope you found that this information was helpful. If so, please give the video a thumbs up and please subscribe to be notified of when I publish more security camera related videos. Thanks for watching.